back to the city. Um, just for reference point, this isn't uh, the Eisenhower yet. This is 88. Um, usually, rule of thumb, when you see the L tracks in the center of the road, that's the Eisenhower. Um, it's in Naperville. It's DuPage County. It's a county that's pretty much surrounded on three sides by Cook County. Um, the <coughs> something that yeah, I believe this is the how do I articulate this? I have talked about this in videos mentioned I hate Protestantism. Now the Protestant is the victim of the crime of Protestantism. Because they, they are Christians, yet many times people argue, other, or, Orthodox Christians, um, more intense than me, um, and I realize I can be intense, will denounce them as non-Christians. And I can understand where that comes from by seeing certain preachers. If you look at the Creflo Dollars and the Joseph Princes and the um, the uh, the various charlatans like uh, Kenneth Copeland. Um, and uh, there's another guy, another televangelist. And you see these vast crowds of people, and you see, you'll see people with a Joyce Myers book. Um, I had even when I attended a Protestant church back in the early 2000s. Um, there were people who attended the Anglican Mission in America, which was for a Protestant church, for a Protestant church, very high liturgi liturgical, believed in baptism, believed in the Eucharist. Um, they had a, a liturgy, yet with kind of contemporary music, kind of like a, a Latin um, modern Roman Catholic Mass almost. Um, but yeah, with no mentions of Mary. And this woman, who was a friend of mine, had a Joyce Myers book and, and like reading I didn't I didn't say anything about it, you know. I was new um, to this to this whole even idea of you know uh, Trinity and uh, being okay and virgin birth that I still kind of wasn't on board with, um, maybe a little bit at that time. But I didn't, you can, I can understand how you can look out and say, anybody to follow Kenneth Copeland, who is a wicked man, who's only driven by money and materialism, who has a disdain and a loathing for the gospel, and his only God is money. God is mammon and say those people are not Christians or to hear what the Cal that people actually follow Calvin or the foul-mouthed Martin Luther and say I don't believe they're Christians the Lutherans I have more tolerance for they don't really follow the foul-mouthed Marcionite um, Martin Luther um, they have their Book of Concord that they follow. So, Missouri Senate, maybe the Wisconsin Senate, I don't know much about them. These people are, I mean, they believe in the Trinity, they believe in Christ. For what they're given, they have, they have possibly the minimum. Horrifyingly enough. And this to them is, is not distressing. They believe there is only a minimum. Which is, it, it, it leaves, leaves one wanting, leaves one empty. How then shall we live is the question that I was asking, basically. That, that's actually a title of a, of a documentary that I was forced to watch in Humanities um, years and years ago, but I, I don't know what the hell it was about, but that question 
really weighed on me. What do we do? Because in Islam, you there was festivals, there was this, there was that. You, you, I mean, you had whole books and everything. And the whole community knew what was right, what was wrong, um, what what you should do, how you should pray together. There was more of a binding, more of a community. Whereas Protestantism, in contemporary worship especially, is a feel-good, um, friend zone, weird type of motivational preaching of these almost Ned Flanders-like people. I mean, Ned Flanders is a caricature, but he's not so far off. Um, and I, I wasn't sure what was right and what was wrong. Um, it was inhuman. And I looked to the scriptures, and the scriptures didn't, through my eyes at that time, through my unlearned eyes, gave me nothing. And I, from that, I understand why people would desire to be Messianic Jews, even though most of the Messianic Jews are not Jews at all. They're just um, Protestants who want some tradition want something that they can follow and pass down to their children that's not going to change. Um, so my heart bleeds for them. Now, I know that some Protestants hear this and take this as insulting. Um, and, and they'll think that this is almost like a, a vindictive thing. And they'll say, well, I feel bad for you. With your... No, um, it's... And even the Roman Catholics, the, the, I, I had visited a uh, Roman Catholic church um, in my um, early 20s, and confession was not the normal thing. I actually went into the priest's office and sat across from his desk to give my confession when I asked, can I come to confession here? Because I knew from just popular culture and everything that anybody could go to the Catholic Church and the priest would hear your confession. Whether his absolving you actually did anything um, since you weren't part of the, the, um, the Catholic Church maybe it didn't matter but he would still listen. So I was shocked by this and um, but the fact that we have regular confession where the priest it's not strange for the priest to um, stand with you before the icon of Christ as he hears your confession for the church, not for Christ, and um, he assures you of the, um, the forgiveness and tells you as, as if it never happened. Do not think, you know, um, the hymns. I mean, uh, traditional hymns in a Protestant church is like, you know, Amazing Grace or something like that. Maybe you've even heard Amazing Grace in a Roman Catholic church. Um, that song, well, a beautiful song and very overplayed. Um, and there's a great story behind it. Was, um, it's only what, like 500, not even 500 years old. So, Trinitarian, people who believe in the Trinity, the hypostatic union, although the assembly, any, 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 any homily, what is it called? What do you guys call the homily? The Protestants call the homily. The preaching, any of any preaching I've ever heard from any assemblies of God, um, any of the, any pastor of, of the Protestants, who's not like a James White, basically, theologian, or who's not um, um, Missouri Senate Lutheran. Never spoken on the hypostatic union, nor the Trinity. They speak to their congregation as if they're trying to convert the unconverted, and they're not Never are they even, and when they're not doing that, they touch upon, they, they blaze right past the Trinity and the hypostatic union. Some of them don't even 
care for the words. Possibly some of them don't know the hypostatic union or believe the Trinity is pagan. I don't know. But yeah, no. When I say that um, I hate Protestantism, it's because of... It's because it's giving bread and water to people, causing them to starve when they need vitamins from vegetables and protein from meat. And especially when they're young in the faith, they need the mother's milk. And nothing else will suffice. Right? I mean, if you don't have mother's milk or something like it, like something, you know, like, what's it called? Um, Simulac, that kind of stuff. If you don't actually have baby formula or actually mother's milk, either your child is going to die or be sickly at least. So, it's, it's, um, it's a terrible situation. And man, can some of them evangelize. But as soon as they come through the doors... You're walking into a famine. Peace to you.